In this video, we're going to consider using the ggplot2 graphics package in R to create histograms. And to illustrate this package, we'll be making use of some data which records the scores in matches in Australian rules football between the seasons 2003 and 2007. So we have this data stored externally in a CSV file and we use the read.csv function to load in the data and here we're saving it as a data frame to the object afl.df. Read.csv expects the name of the file which is shown here. So this runs without any difficulty and we can look at the first five results using the square brackets notation after the name of the object. So as we're making use of ggplot2 graphics, we need to attach that particular package. So we use the require function to do that. So then what we can do is to actually create our graph but save it to an object. Because then what we can do is gradually add bits and pieces to the graph. So what we do is we create an object called graph object and we add a couple of things. So first up we're calling the ggplot function. We tell it the data frame object where we're going to extract the data and the aesthetic matches between columns of data in the data frame and various aesthetics that make up the graph. So here we're picking out the home.total column which corresponds to the number of points scored by the home team. We then add on a geom and the geom tells ggplot2 what type of graph to produce. In this case we want to produce a histogram. So we submit that. We haven't actually produced a graph yet as we saved it to an object. So if we print that object we will end up with our basic histogram. So then what we can do is we can start adding on bits and pieces such as an x-axis label. So we could put in for example home points. If we submit that we now see a change has been made to our graph. So this is quite a neat way of adding things onto our graph. Then what we could do is say put a Y label on saying frequency. Have a quick look at that. And then last but not least we could end up changing the options to put in a title for the graph. So we just simply put histogram of points scored by the home team. So again we take a quick look and we see now that we've got a title as well as the x-axis labels. Now let's say we we're interested in splitting out this histogram by each of the five seasons that's been recorded in the data. So what we can do here is first up, just to make sure that year is considered a factor rather than a numeric variable, we overwrite it really with a call to the function factor. So now if we bring up our previous graph and we add on the facet, our facet allows us to produce different graphs based on different subsets of the data and as we're only using one variable to facet on, we use facet wrap and we want to use it by the year. So we've got five histograms. And if we run that command and look at the graph, it'll be obvious what's happened. So the facet wrap splits out the years across those five seasons and produces a histogram of the points scored by the home team across each of those seasons.